Thank you for tuning in to watch our video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to display point cloud datasets in Erdis Imagine version 16.5. There are two different types of point clouds. Derived from the stereo imagery using Erdis Imagine Photogrammetry's terrain extraction tools such as the semi-global matching algorithm. It's captured by LiDAR equipment either terrestrial or airborne. In this video, we will focus on the processing and management of airborne LiDAR data. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. The Erdis Imagine Field Guide defines LiDAR as an optical means of measuring reflected light from distant objects to determine range and from this information to determine position. LiDAR systems can take accurate 3D measurements of an object and surfaces using high sampling densities. Its applications include engineering, remote sensing, forestry, geomatics, and more. These systems can record up to 500,000 points per second, thereby creating large datasets stored as LAS file format. The LAS file format is a public file format for the interchange of point cloud data between vendors and customers developed by the American Society for Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing. Very few systems can handle the processing of these memory intensive datasets. Erdis Imagine reads point cloud data directly in planimetric 3D and pro profile views, measures in 2D and profile view, and perform other operations. In this video, we will show you how to do the following. Specify whether to compute levels of detail, change budget for number of points to display, display point cloud as collections, add point cloud files to collections, and change display properties. So let's get into it. Level of detail, also referred to as pyramid layers, can be generated for point cloud files to optimize loading and display performance. We will use Erdis Imagine's preference tools to specify whether to compute LODs. The options for generating LODs are specified in the viewing category of the preferences. From the file menu, select preferences to open the preference editor. Expand the viewing group and select viewer to display options in the right pane of the window. Scroll to the Compute Pyramid Layers Upon Image Open If Needed list. The lists present the user with the following three options. Yes, automatically generate LODs when opening a point cloud file that does not have LODs. Query, display a message asking whether to generate LODs. No, do not create LODs when opening a point cloud file that does not have LODs. Let's leave the query option selected so that Erdis can prompt the user on whether to compute LODs or not when loading point cloud files into the viewer. Should you like to open multiple files at once, I suggest you set this option to yes to avoid being prompted for every file being opened. The maximum number of points to display in the 2D view is specified in the point budget preference of the preference editor. Setting the number of points to display also optimizes point cloud's display's performance. When opening a point cloud file, the appropriate level of detail is loaded based on the point budget, the display extent, and the point cloud density. As you zoom in, more points are loaded until the budget is reached. With the preference editor window still open, we will change the budget for the number of points to display in the 2D view. With the viewing group still expanded, click point cloud option to display point cloud budgeting options in the right pane of the window. Change the value in the budget of number of points for display in 2D viewer field to 1.5 million. We will leave the rest as default values. Note that a higher number improves quality. A lower number increases performance. Click save and close to save your changes and close the preference editor. The Erdis Imagine field guide states that because LiDAR data consists of collections of 3D points, most 3D viewing tools that usually work with the assumption that all of the data can be read into memory at once. However, since LiDAR data collections can be in the billions of points, it is easy to have LAS files which cannot be viewed because of memory constraints. This is also a common problem for many processing tools. This has led to a convention of cutting LiDAR datasets into tiles of a maximum size and then processing large datasets a tile at a time. This creates multiple point cloud files for a single area. Erdis Imagine allows us to load these point clouds as a collection so that they can be analyzed and manipulated as a single entity. To display multiple point cloud files as a collection, do the following. Click the Open Button folder and navigate to the directory containing the point cloud files. Erdis Imagine supports the following point cloud formats.
select the point cloud files you want to open as a collection. We will be using point cloud data for the city of Cape Town stored in a .las file format for this demonstration. Click OK. Note that one of the selected three files did not have the LODs computed for it. Hence, the software has prompted us if we would like to compute them as we had set in the preferences. We will proceed to click Yes. Note the status of the project being executed at the bottom right corner of the viewer. When the process is complete, you will notice that all three of the selected point cloud files are loaded into a single point cloud collection. The collection is named after the first point cloud file followed by three dots, in this case, w55a.las... We can also add additional point cloud files to the collection. Right click the name of the point cloud collection layer in the contents panel and select add point clouds. We will now add the remaining point cloud files into the first collection. The files are added to the collection. Point cloud files by default display by elevation ramp. However, they can also display by other attributes such as classification, intensity, file, return information or RGB information. For attributes that have discrete classes such as classification, display colors can be changed for each class. For attributes that have continuous ranges such as elevation, display color changes are made by the selection of a color ramp. To change display attributes and color, do the following. Click on the point cloud file from the table of contents and open the point clouds tab. From the point clouds tab, locate the color by list of the display group and select the attribute to use for the display. You can either style the points based on classification, intensity, file, return information or RGB information. Change the display size of the point clouds by selecting a value from the PT size list. Click a color gallery in the style gallery to change the color of the points you want. We can also specify custom colors for use. That's it for this video. As demonstrated in this video, Erdis Imagine provides the user with more control when viewing and displaying point cloud data with optimal use of your system resources. The software is also designed to handle and manipulate large and multiple point cloud data at once in planimetric view. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with future content by the Geodata Design team.